Frank de Tori on free wind. His final ride in a Royal Ascot group race. Still another ride to come. No, two rides. This is the last group race. They're in the gate and they're off. A mile and a half ahead of them in the Hardwick Stakes first run in 1879. And it will be changing of the guard who will stride on and claim the early lead. And Frank Dettori is going to put the mare free wind right at the back of the field. He's already conceded six lengths to Ryan Moore on changing of the guard through the very early stages. Now, pile driver, first time on a race course for about three quarters of a year, and he's really lit up. He is reefing and pulling, and he's just in behind in third place as West Wind blows has moved through on the outside of change of the guard now at the start PJ McDonald put on a pair of gloves to try and get an extra grip on this very hot and sultry day but at the moment he's having his arms extended in third on pile driver who really is keen and very happy to be back at the races but he's not helping his chance here as they go around Swinley bottom Deauville legend is racing in fourth place then in fifth is Ardacan racing on the inside of free wind and it is now Grand Alliance who is at the back of the field so they're racing on towards the halfway point in the group two Hardwick Stakes and it's West Wind Blows and Jamie Spencer. He's out in front by over two lengths now to change of the guard and Ryan Moore in second position. Still keen is Pile Driver under PJ McDonald in third place. Dover Legend and Danny Musket in fourth. Ardacan James McDonald in fifth. Frankie Dottori, the White Colors on Free Wind in sixth. And it's William Buick and Grand Alliance still at the back of the pack. They continue to climb and they're racing now on towards the final half mile of the Hardwick and West Wind Blows is travelling smoothly. Much better than Change of the Guard, who's already been pushed along by Ryan Moore. Pile Driver still keen on the bit, racing in third. Free Wind now making a sweeping move around the outside in fourth. Deauville Legend is all tucked up, but looking for racing room. Ardacan will take the scenic route round the outside, and at the back is Grand Alliance. They're in line for home. Change of the Guard, the first off the bit. He's still there pitching. Pile Driver on the outside. West West Wind Blows, however, still just has the lead. Danny Musket is screaming, screaming for racing room of Deauville Legend, and he can't get it out. Free Wind has flattened out, and now once they enter the final furlong, Pile Driver noses to the lead. Pile Driver wandering under pressure on the far side. West Wind Blows is still there. Pile Driver runs across in front of the field, but it is Pile Driver who has won the Hardwick. Twin second West Wind Blows, followed home by Change of the Guard, Deauville Legend, Free Wind, and they were miles clear of Grand Alliance and Ardacan. Pile driver at 7-2 has won the Hardwick. His trainers, William Muir and Chris Grassick, said that he'll come on for the run, that he might blow up and he might only be 75%. If this is 75% of him, I can't wait to see 100% in King George Day. He pulled fiercely hard. He's won by a length and a half. West Wind blows in second, in third, change of the guard, and possibly unlucky in fourth, Deauville Legend, who was all tucked up, but he could never get out of bed. A first ever winner at Royal Ascot for PJ McDonald on Pile Driver. But my goodness, there were some heart stopping moments. First up, he was so free in the race on his return from the long absence. Then in the straight, the stewards will have a look at it, Jason. What a remarkable horse this is, yeah, though. Yeah, he, you know, we, we saw the win last year where he snaked his way up the straight, where, you know, it was left, right, all over. Watch BJ, pulls it through to his right, and he's going to duck immediately away. Now, he actually, he does straighten his range, but he pulls it through. Watch this for a duck. That, he's gone, oh, my word, that, it's, he's so hard to ride. And, and, and the problem is, you're trying to get that extra gear out of him. Stewards will look at that. Um, I don't think that they will turn it around but um, because PJ is such an experienced rider they'll think that possibly a little bit more anticipation on his part here he hits the front and you can see the stick in his right hand then through to the left as he duck left <laughs> I feel sorry for PJ because he's, he's he's all over the place. He is a he's a little monkey pile driver, so talented. But you can see he's quirky. He was keen. He then ducks and dives when he hits the front. But the ability is all there, and it's not easy. It is accidental. PJ's done everything he could to try and stop it. But like you say, 
could he have predicted it? Well, that's what the stewards are going to ask. That's tricky, though. Well, yeah, just just yeah. when he pulls it through again here, I think that he should have known that he was already aiming that way. And oh, I, feel like I think he was quite clearly going to win he anyway, wasn't he? Pulled it through and just maybe tapped him down the shoulder because the horse is clearly reacting to when he is tapped behind the saddle. Boy, get in, get in.